Good morning, children. Had your breakfast? Yeah. So, are you ready to watch the videos? Yeah. I am also ready. Welcome back to our topic. That is the living organisms, characteristics, and habitats. So, yesterday we have seen the aquatic habitat. That means the animals which it is living in the water and as well as the plants. Is it? Yes. To, today's our topic is about the characteristics of the organisms. What are the characteristics of the organisms? So, uh, for example, if we are going to visit the forest. In the forest, what and all we can see children? We can see the trees, birds, some pond, uh, wild animals as well as creatures and the dry leaves which it has fallen down, is it? And uh, very big trees, is it? Somewhat uh, making the creatures uh, which it is making the sound. These are all we can see in the forest. So, in that few of the, uh, what is that? Living things we are going to see. Is it? That means the forest area only it will be very different. In this almost all we are seeing the living beings only. Living things only we are seeing. Then for the living things it can move, it can breathe, it can grow, it can give the reproduction also. Is it? Then what about the non-living things? Example, uh, if you take our classroom situation, we are having the benches, chair, duster, then chalk, is it? Is it? Books, pens, these are all. Then, what are these characteristics, children? Is these both or same? That means the living things and the non-living things? No. Because these non-living things are made by the man. So, we call it as the man-made things. Is it? Yes. So, let me come for the organism. That means living things. All the living things will be having the same characteristics. We have to see what are those characteristics of these organisms. So, it will be having the movement. The organisms will be having the movement. Then, growth and development. It is having the growth and development. Food, respiration, response to stimuli. Let me see what are these. Movement. So, if I want something, now I am teaching the class. If I want something, I can move from one place to another place. Whichever the need I want, I can get it. So, the organisms, not only the human beings, the creatures, the animals, it is having the movement. You can ask, what about the plants now? Even though they are the living things, plants also is having their Movement, is it? Yes. So all the organisms will be having the movement. Then, uh, do all the organisms need food, children? We need the food. Yeah, we need the food. That too, time to time we need. If morning session, the tiffin is exactly nine o'clock. Means if you take the food for ten o'clock. They say, Amma, we are, I am having so much hungry. I want my food. I want my food. Is it? Yes. Afternoon time, by 2 o'clock means exactly if you are not taking in our stomach, something, something will be happened. Why we need to take the food? To get the energy. Only for energy? To the growth also. Is it? To the growth also we need. So, Growth and development. We need to take the food. So children, when you have taken the birth, will be like a small babies. Is it? Yeah. Then after one year, little bit. Then when you are going to join in the school, you will be this much. When you come to the 7th standard, you will be this much. When you come to the 10th standard, you will be growing. Is it? Are you seeing the growth in you? Yes. Only in you. Or if you see your pet animals, if you are having at home, can you see the growth? Yes, you can see the growth. Then what about the trees? We'll say a small plant. After that, we'll say it is a herbs, shirts, and then we are going for the 
plants very big as well that means here we are seeing the growth and as well as the development this is also one of the characteristics of this organism is it then food by taking the food we can get the energy and we can see the growth and development also then respiration already we have seen in our previous classes inhale and exhale respiration also it's very important for all the organisms if we close our nose for a while nose and mouth both we we'll say that means we can't at least the food one or two days without eating we can but within one minute if we close it we can't survive is it yes so here the breathing process the respiration process also it's very very important so breathing is a part of process breathing is a part of process is nothing but respiration so what do you mean by respiration breathing is a part of process is called respiration how do we respire children by using nose is there lungs is there so through the nose it enters through the windpipe to the lungs is it so exhale and inhale process then like this all the organisms example if you take the fish how do the fish will it takes the respiration through the gills is it then atom to the skin the fish takes by gills then earthworm by skin man through plants right so, so different types of animals will be having different types of the respiration organisms then what about the plants children how do the plants respire is the plants taking the respiration or not yes so the plants take carbon dioxide and releases the oxygen what we people will do we respire the oxygen and releases the carbon dioxide is it then through the leaves the process is going on through the leaves and the leaves will take the sunlight and through that sunlight it is going to take the process that one not we call it as the photosynthesis so this is about our respiration and next one is about the response to the stimuli let me see now response to stimuli changes in our surroundings that makes us respond to them or called as stimuli that means uh, while going we are uh, uh, with our friends we are talking and moving there we can see the thorns so let me step on the thorn or by without seeing if you step on the thorn what we will say abba it has something hidden me is it so our response will be given like that is it then uh, when you go near the birds or eating some of the grains slowly if you go near that what will happen all the birds will be flew and up is it so that is their stimuli response of the stimuli then if any uh, deer a group of deer or that slowly the lion is coming the deer if one of the deer will observe then the lion is coming means what will happen it gives their messages and all the that group of the deer will be run that means to protect from themselves that is nothing but our response to stimuli so these are about if you see the snake children what a oh, snake is coming snake will see like that no then <gasps> snake we don't want to run so we are afraid of that is it yes so we are uh, seeing that to escape from that animal that is the snake is it yes. so like this we are going to respond then what about the trees have you observed how ah, 
uh, if you observe few of the trees at night times when it is becoming night all the leaves will become like this children that means it is in the sleeping position so some of the flowers will be uh, coming blossom at the night times especially jasmine or uh, whatever we have to see that and fragrance of that few flowers will be like that. and few flowers from for the sunshine only it is going to blossom is it yes so these are the different types of for the animals and as well as for the plants it is the response to stimuli that means some of the changes we are going to see in our surroundings and in the response to the normal as the stimuli especially this one mimosa have you heard about that what is that man if i say ha ah, yes ma mimosa that is nothing but touch me touch me not plant If you touch that plant, all the leaves will become like this. After few while, after a while, all the leaves will be open. Just if you touch with your finger, all whatever uh, uh, that is nothing but a thorn bushy, not a plant. It's like a uh, herb. If you touch that one, immediately it is going to close. That is the good example we can take for the. Response to the stimuli. So these are the characteristics of the organisms. Okay, children. Let me end up this session. So note down all these points in your notebook. Okay. Thank you.